as you've heard, welcome back to Pikmin 4. Today, we are here back at the base. Apparently, there was some kind of expansion made, and we'll definitely check that out in a moment, but I figure it might be a good time to catch up with everybody that we did rescue, as well as the people we've already had rescued. So first off, we'll talk to Rust to just see if there's any kind of updates. I just love how science and technology make the impossible possible. Not everyone possesses the unlimited stamina of Dingo, and increasing one's speed is often hindered by the body itself. Rush boots increase stamina limits by redirecting the kinetic energy generated into a form that resupplies stamina levels. No. I'm very busy at the moment. Is there something you needed? All right, let's see for ourselves. Is there anything we needed? Let's get started. So there's a brand new headlamp plus. I've improved the output and, and increased the scope of its beam. <laughs> Not even the darkest of nights can outwit science. And then over here we have the rush boots. The faster you go, the more you explore. Isn't that right? It'll take everything they have for the Pikmin to keep up with you. <laughs> Interesting, so we'll be running a lot faster with the Rush Boots. Very tempting, for sure. And it looks like that's the only new thing is here. So we just gotta find more and more materials as time goes on. Um, when it comes to items, it looks like there's not anything new. Um, So I think that like out of all this, maybe the Rush Boots would be nice, but I don't know if I exactly need it too much. This might be where we just start going down the line a little bit. So we'll get the idle counter today. Shows a running tally of how many Pikmin are standing idle. Sure. So go ahead and grab that. We do need to save some of the material though, so we'll back out for now. Come back and see me if there's anything else you need. And then I think Ochi should definitely be able to get some upgrades over this way. Um, so we'll train with Shepard. Make sure you tackle a variety of training types, okay? That way you and Ochi sure are sure to steadily improve. Um, let's chat. I consider myself real lucky to have a sign. Okay, same thing as before. Um, but we can train Ochi should have three pup points now. Aha, uh -huh. I've been watching you two progress, and you've inspired me to create a new training course. You see, when you're plucking Pikmin sprouts, I believe Ochi can help if he learns pluck. Whoa, yeah, that would be useful. I've also added some training to beef up his dig skill so he can dig faster than ever. Cool. So which one do we wanna do first though? Like, there's all sorts of things we can do here, but maybe we should do like the introductory things first and upgrade them later. So let's learn pluck level one. OG will help you when you pluck Pikmin Sprouts. There we go. I think just him being diversely good will be a good thing to focus on for the time being. And then over time, we'll improve those things. So we have heal level one. This skill increases OG's healing power. When he's injured, he'll recover as long as he takes it easy. Um, do I not, oh, I don't have enough points for that one. It requires three. Okay, well we can learn super buff. Um, what skill could be better than buff? How about super buff? It gives Ochi the strength of 20 Pikmin. boy. Sure, let's give this one a try. So we've learned super buff level one. And we get two scrummy bones. Great work, Ochi. I've got just a reward for you. Keep up the good work. And remember, no slacking. So we'll take a look around some of the other parts of this area. Um, like we have, um, you can go over here. Good rescue work requires investigation or thorough investigation. Show me you can explore one area to 100%. I will. So it was right up here. Whoa, yeah. There's a, there's a ship here that was crash landed. This is Francois. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. It's such a pleasure to speak with you. I'm Francois, Bonnie specialist and enthusiast. Are you a plant lover too? For years, I've been working on two-way communication between plants and, well, us. I think Pikmin might be the key. Interesting. Oh wait, do you have more? Looks like you do. Kindness. That's why I love plants and Pikmin. They're kind. They listen when you talk and accept you, whoever you are. Who wouldn't want a friend like that? There'd be so much less sadness in this world if everyone could, could befriend Pikmin. Yeah, honey. For the good of civilization, we must propagate more Pikmin. Help me with this task for a token of my thanks. So grow the Pikmin population to 300. We're getting there. All right, so anything more? When harvesting pellet po posies, I suggest you avoid the majestic roots and aim for the hard and unnatural pellet. That unwieldy round pellet is much easier to detach if you think of it as an attack. Interesting. Anyways, over here we have this weird ship. We can ride it? Whose spaceship is that? Oh, maybe I can't ride it. Okay, I thought it was saying I could ride Ochi. Interesting. Whose spaceship is that really? I mean, it might be Alomar's, but I think his is typically red. I don't know if there's anything else up here we can really access. It seems like for right now, no. So we'll come back over here for sure, I guess, as we meet up with more people. Um, what about you over here? Looks like you don't have anything for us, but these two we can chat with. It looks like maybe we've got enough treasure. Ah, you've collected quite an impressive trove of goodies. It's humbling, really. It isn't much, but please accept this. 
So we get ourselves um, Appraisal Frenzy 1 cleared. We get 50 um, material for it. Please, if you will, let me appraise as many goodies as possible. I tell you, I'm always excited to lay eyes upon a new treasure. So now we gotta get 100, so we have to double what we just did. All right, and what about you over here? Uh, just imagining unknown creatures makes my little heart go bump bump the thump. Uh, let's chat. Imagination gives you the power to travel to unknown worlds. If you're really good at imagining things, like me, then you can do pretty much anything in that world. For example, when my when I let my imagination go with the little with the little darlings, I can happily frolic about with them. I could keep talking about creatures for days on end. Cool. When it comes to creatures, I can talk whenever, wherever, and however often. And then I think this is somebody we saved earlier. Last time, previous day. Rescue core? Is there someone who needs rescuing? I don't recall seeing anything. I'm what? Oh, I'm a castaway? Huh. I was so busy looking around at the flora here, I had no idea. Well, let's go ahead and pluck some of these. There we go. So, I guess for now there's not too much more to do. We'll go ahead and catch up with um, Colin here so we can move back to another area. We're all set over here. The SS Beacon can take off whenever you're ready. I had no idea that anyone else had received Captain Almar's Al SOS signal and decided to come to this planet. Yeah, okay, so already read about that one. Let's explore. So I think for this one, there's still a lot to do here at Syrian sh Shores and Blossoming Acradia and Sun Speckled Terrace. I think that like, maybe it'd just be better to go to a previous area, get it done 100%, see if we can find more stuff. I think that might be better overall. Because I want to find more onions and stuff, for sure. So, let's go with Sun Speckled Terrace. Let's see if we can't get it closer to 100%. All right, well, off we go. I will do everything in my power to try to get this one at 100% completed. Dingo would be really happy to see that, of course, and so would I. So, off we go. So the last time we were here, we only had, I think, two types of Pikmin. Since then, we've gotten two more, the yellow and the blue Pikmin, and we've gotten like different abilities and stuff too. So hopefully we can make the most out of everything. And first off, this little section of water might be our best bet. So I think we'll go over here, we'll get 20 of them. I'll do red and I'll do ice. Okay. Is that good enough? It's, now I can't bring out any of the yellow Pikmin, why is that? Oh, because it's only three of each chip. I totally forgot. Okay, um, we'll do this then. Confirm this. Need more yellow Pikmin? I do. See if Ochi can track down their scent. Good idea. Okay, the possibilities just got a lot cooler. So I'll do that soon enough because I really do need more um yellow Pikmin. But there's a creature over here, a little tadpole, which is trying to get away from us. I'm so sorry, but I gotta beat you up. And I guess we will... Yeah, get one Pikmin, bring it over. Get two more Pikmin over there. And then over this way, we have a lot more to work on. So there's that, plenty more of these little tadpoles, which I think that, you know, if we can keep finding them, they'll give us sparklium and stuff. So that'd be pretty nice over here. And ooh, there's something to build on this side too. So a lot to keep up with around here. I'm trying my best. Um, yep, yeah, do that. Lots of fighting going on everywhere. <laughs> They're just riding them around, <laughs> crazy. Okay, they should bring that over. We'll call this Pikmin over too. Doesn't look like there's anything under here, but it's still good to check. So, yeah, as you can see, the game will actually tell us now which Pikmin are sort of just hanging out. We have 14 Pikmin that we can just go and grab and keep moving. So, what I'm curious about is way over here, I can't quite jump onto that ledge, but I can send a bunch of Pikmin over here. Looks like we would need 15 of them. 15 is plenty enough for us. Can I jump up? Oh, so close, but not quite. It would be nice if eventually we can improve Ochi's jumping ability or something like that. If we take a look at the map, there's just a lot in this corner. I don't know if we'll fully get 100% today, but I'm certainly trying. Hmm. Does that lead up that way? Where there's like, you know, who knows how much stuff to do. Oh, oh, I see it up there. There's a blue Pikmin onion. That would be huge to get right now. So. Get all this, and then we'll try to climb up this climbing wall. Um, there we go. That seems like it worked pretty well. We have all of our Pikmin still, and, what did we miss one? Oh, there's one little Pikmin up there. Come on, little guy. There we go. So unfortunately, poor Ochi can't keep up with us, but I can get a bunch of red Pikmin over there. 
That should be pretty good. And while that's all happening, what's the deal with this? Ooh, okay, here we go. Look at that, another onion. This one's a different color from the first one we found. Will it also move on its own after we transport it? I sure hope so. So that's not a floor lick. I can guarantee that. Okay, that enemy is defeated and they did drop some goodies, so I think we'll just try to get them to deliver it like that. That might be the best idea for now. Um, And then same thing over here. Get a couple of Pikmin to work on that, even though we got plenty of the spicy stuff already. I'm just trying to make the most out of our time here. So we get a bunch of Pikmin to dig this up. And that really should be it for this area. Excavation completed, everybody's trying to move it over, but we gotta be careful, because only uh, the water Pikmin can really do much with it. Um, so I might wanna reorder some things then. Here, let's get these guys over. Come on, come on. Yep, you know I'm calling you. Um, and how are the Pikmin doing over there? So we need to go to our pack and use the idler's alert. Bring all of those Pikmin over this way. Cause that should be six more of them over that way. See, how much would it take to freeze this? 30, so more than I currently have. But I can toss them all down there and then deal with it later. <laughs> so there's that. Um, You guys, that should be 20 water Pikmin in total. That is enough just to go and move that. So that's excellent. I don't see too much more we can really do on this side of things. So I think we hop down here and we see where this boost sits. Whoa! Okay, Um, I wish Ochi could come over, but I guess what we could do, go to our pack again, call them over like this. Does that call Ochi over too? Uh, unfortunately, no. So I will call the Ice Pikmin over, just like that. And then I will not do this, but disband so that I can run over and get Ochi. Oh, they got it, this is so exciting. So we'll actually be able to grow out more Pikmin now. Uh, whoa, is it gonna be both colors? I'd hope so. There it is, half red, half blue. It sucked up the other onion? That was unexpected. You don't think that's going to be a problem, do you? Unbelievable, the onion's fused, and now there's just one with two colors. Wait, do you think it will be able to prop propagate Pikmin of both types now? I sure hope so. So, yeah, now we can start building up our collection of blue Pikmin as well. Um, for now though, I wanna disband them all again. I don't know why I called them over in the first place. I said disband, please. <laughs> there we go, just so that I can get Ochi. Poor guys is sitting here all alone. I wanna help out. Okay, come on. There we go, and I'll ride you real fast. That should make everything much easier. Because there's plenty to do around here, as you can see. But I think this is just a good chance to get as many blue Pikmin as possible. So, yeah, it should be like majority rules for a lot of it, I think. So if there's more blue Pikmin on the pellet, that's gonna mean it's gonna be a, a blue Pikmin being sprouted from it, so. Hopefully that's the case, I guess we'll see soon enough. In the meantime though, I want to wake up this Bulborb with a rude surprise. There you go, awesome. That was great actually, we get some ultra spicy nectar out of it. If I take a look at the map now, there is something to hop into over there. I think we'll be doing that soon enough then. Uh, but in the meantime, okay, I do need some yellow picking for that wall over that way. A new cave has been discovered, and then right up here, What's the deal with this stuff? Okay, this is gonna be another bridge to work on. So that's all important for sure. What was that noise? Oh, more grubs to attack. Okay, we'll get rid of the grubs really fast. Just like that. But um, we don't want them to fight my Pikmin. A lot to do here. I think the first thing we should do is hop into the cave and get as much as we can done in there. So going in like this. The crackling cauldron. I was fleeing hotter than usual, or feeling ho hotter than usual in my spacesuit. And when I looked down, the ground was on fire. I panicked, but a red Pikmin just gave me a, a sidelong glance, totally unfazed, even as the fire licked at them. They're clearly capable of more than just skillful attacks. Alamar. Okay, so we could try this one, the Crackling Cauldron. Um, do I have that flaming suit on? I don't know if I do, but uh, I guess we'll find out. Let's just hop in. Um, we'll get as many uh, flaming Pikmin as possible. Maybe a few less so that I can maybe get like some ice Pikmin or something. I just don't know what I'll end up needing here. So we'll do 35 and 
Something like this. Okay, cool. Let's go in to the uh, the flaming cauldron. Or the crackling cauldron, whatever it was. <laughs> We're hopping in. All right, so this one might prove to be very difficult, but we're gonna find out together. First things first is you call everybody over. And then if we could, yeah, power everybody up through some of these, because I think you know some of these Pikmin are definitely gonna need some extra blooming. That's great. And I wanna move quick here. Obviously, time moves slower here, but time still moves. We learned that in the last episode the hard way is when we popped out of the, the cavern, it was just a 10 second countdown already. So I just don't wanna deal with that twice. All the red Pikmin should be able to make quick work of this enemy, so we can just go and bring them over. Got it, and then just one more onto that. Cool, so already being pretty hasty with things, I'm moving over this way, and we'll just sort of see how things work out. Another enemy over here, able to knock them down, and what is this? Looks like a cracker, or is this some kind of food? Um, we've got more yellow Pikmin over here, which is very exciting because we've been super low on them. So any amount of yellow Pikmin that we can get, the better. And this is where, you know, that one upgrade with uh, Ochi is really nice because we can uh, pluck things way faster. We need one more over there. I'm just trying to keep Dandori in mind at the moment, you know? So, we got a lot over here. Of course, the yellow Pikmin are the best at uh, digging, so I'm just trying to leave them to it. Got it, and then another flaming enemy over here. Throwing out as much as I can. Ooh, let's be careful. I'll just charge you to finish you off. Claim those Pikmin over there. Lots of stuff going on at the same time, but it's going pretty well. I do see that little grub that was in the dirt. I think we should just be able to fight you pretty easily. There we go. More are popping up though, we gotta be careful. Okay, quick work with them though. I will toss that one yellow Pikmin over. I guess we'll deal with this with Red Pikmin. So far, it's not very crackling. But we got more treasure collected over there, and then 10 Pikmin for this, which will make it quite the nice shortcut. Now, when it comes to reaching that, I'll need more yellow Pikmin, I think, to help me out. But we'll do that soon enough. I think for right now, I would like to gather everybody up as much as possible. A lot of them are still bringing stuff over. But yeah, it's all over there. Oh, and we have this. So a lot of yellow Pikmin should be able to work on this. One more, there we go, excellent. So we're up to 17 yellow Pikmin now, I think. Pretty nice, and then there's an 18th one carrying that over, so. I will call all these little guys over. Never mind, they got it. And then once that is zipped up, we're making some very quick progress through all this, which is exactly what we wanna see. I will just leave that one for now so we can keep moving. I don't wanna waste too much time. Okay, here we go. Once again, I'm just trying to stay behind them as much as possible. And then boom, finish them off. That's what we're looking for. We could go deeper yet still, right over there, but I'm not ready for that just yet. I will throw one over there and then get this, what looks like a chalkboard eraser or something like that. There we go. It's a, it's a wipe. Yeah, so it wipes clean the marker or the chalk or whatever. Pretty cool. And I think with that found, we'll be uh, completed with the sub-level, but we'll see soon enough. Maybe I can toss over a couple more Pikmin to speed up the process. There you go, they can help. See, now it's really moving. Now it is hustling along. And we'll see for ourselves. We're at 66% for the sub-level, so I'm pretty certain that means this will bring it up to 50. Or 100, I mean, but 50 for uh, the entire thing. New treasure found, or at 100% for the sub level, 50 for uh, the entire thing. So yeah, we're gonna make our way out of here as soon as we can, and try out the next thing. So, I'm hopping in. Sub level two of the Crackling Cauldron, we're making some really good time. So this is where things get a little bit more complicated in the final sub level, because we have whatever that is. Um, let's call everybody over. Huh? There must be a castaway nearby. So what happens if we throw, this is an enemy, or maybe? Okay, that's gonna cool it off. Sizzling Forks English, that's perfect. Okay, let's hop off of Ochi for a moment. Um, just that way, yeah, if there's nectar, we can um, send them over and eat it up. Maybe some yellow picking can make the most of it too. Okay, it's all used up. 
So we get everybody, we charge forward this way because I already see way over here. I can send the yellow Pikmin up there. Just get a little bit closer to them. There you go. And while that's happening, red Pikmin, oh wait, uh, let's watch out for you. Ben, do a little bit of this. Everybody is hard at work and it's great to see. We'll have some Pikmin bring those back. And oh, there's the uh, castaway that needs your help. Pile of raw material has been transported. Ooh, what's under here? Should definitely take a quick peek at this. Whoa, whoa, where am I going right now? I don't know. Uh, I guess I'll send a couple of Pikmin over here to work on this wall. Come on, Ochi, you need the same thing. Gotcha. And then I guess while we're working on this, once again, we will uh, use the idler's alert to bring all idle Pikmin over to us. Oh, they're going sort of the long way around, which I guess works fine. Um, all those Pikmin over, and these guys. Try to beat up this little dude first. Yep, we just need one Pikmin there. And then these fire Pikmin can start working on all that stuff. They'll work on the next one too. While that's happening, of course, we need to start plucking this stuff. This is in four is extinguished, nice. I wanna grab the attention of those Pikmin over there. Hopefully they figure out that we're, they're supposed to, yeah, go all the way down here. What do we do here? I guess with yellow Pikmin I can toss them up. It's so high, can we use yellow Pikmin? Yes, we can. So there is that done. Back over this way though, a lot to be done. I'm going to toss some of those over and then sort of same deal over there, I suppose. I'll toss a few more at this enemy. And then up here, this also needs yellow Pikmin. We got some tasty treats or something. Got it, that's gonna be both of those moved, right? Ooh, there's our castaway. Let's see that ID info. Oh, you know who this is? It's Yanni, the Rescue Corps officer, home planet Ori. A doctor who lives for discovering and solving unusual cases, he jumps at every chance to test his experimental medicines. Awesome, so I'm glad we saved the new person. All right, we found another rescue officer. Yanni is a talented doctor with a wealth of knowledge. With his skills, he can treat any injuries or illnesses that come our way. I'll bet that he can even do something about the leafling castaways. That means our pilot is the only one of us still missing. Please, continue your search. That is amazing, we found the doctor. So we're just waiting for the pilot now. You rescued our doctor, Yanni. Let's ask him to examine a leafling when he wakes up. Our pilot, Bernard, might be one after all. Interesting, so we still have other things to work on in the meantime, like tossing a yellow Pikmin up there. Um, I'll call up some Pikmin over this way so that they can start fighting this. While that's happening, you know what we need to do? We need to radar over any um, unavailable Pikmin. What is going on with this one? Last time we fought one of these, it was like a, a lightning one. I don't know if that's the case anymore. Here, let's do that for a second, then call them over, call them over! Whoa, this one's flaming. This one's definitely flaming. Um, so have all the Pikmin attack from there. I'm gonna call them over again. It's that little flip that is definitely so dangerous. Come on, just a little bit more should do the trick though. I think they got it, but I think I still got it. Oh no, call them over. Oh, I didn't realize it would work that way, but a new base is unlocked with that. So um, I guess for right now, call the base over here and then get as many Pikmin as we can to work on this. I mean, losing red Pikmin is sort of the least important one. I mean, I don't wanna say that in a mean way, but I mean in the way that we can make red Pikmin more easily because we've always had that red onion. So it's always pretty easy to make some more. Anyways, I'm calling some Pikmin over to this. We still have 25% more of this map to uncover, so I'm definitely still looking around. It looks like it's all gonna be over here. So if I could just, whoa, whoa, watch it guys, watch it. I'm gonna hurry up and call them back to you. I'm trying. I'll throw some more over there. And then this is where we just went through before. So they did a great job and now everybody can go over here and dig up what looks like a, a sweet potato. Uh, looks like it. So excavation completed there. They'll bring that back to the ship. I will walk back with all of these guys. Feeling pretty good. I don't see anything else to do around here. So I think we did a great job finishing everything. New treasure collected. We're at 100%. I think we're good to go. But what's up with this? I think that just means we technically never walked through that way. So I'll take a quick peek just to be extra, extra sure there isn't anything else we missed, but the treasure finder turns off. 
So unless there's maybe a couple pieces of like treasure to find, you know, the materials and stuff, which there's not, I think we're good to go. So I will leave this be. And we are super duper close to getting 7,000 sparkly in. Which is crazy, because we just unlocked the previous area, the um, the Serene Shores. But I guess there might be another area we'll be opening up soon too. Either way, we'll deal with all that later for now, or just escaping the Crackling Cauldron. We did a great job here though, for sure. We got everything we needed. So Crackling Cauldron, we rescued Yanni, the rescue corps officer, Doctor, as well as one pup drive up. And don't forget all of our cool collectibles. We'll take a look at everything at the end, so we won't worry about it for right now, but investigation complete. It was a good time. This is what I do appreciate with this earlier area, you know, things are in general so far a lot easier than they were in um, Serene Shores. So I'm having fun exploring in that way. So we're back out at the surface. Just because we made some progress in there doesn't mean our day is done. We actually have a lot to do. So I think this is fine. Um, if anything, I could, actually no, I do need yellow pigment. There's a couple of things. So I think this is actually the combo we'll stay with. We don't quite need water pigment for what we're trying to do for this next little bit. So we explored 100% of that cave. Heading over here then. We all need to hop on top of you, get back over here and work on this a little. So maybe just some red pigment to deal with these little bugs that we defeated before. And then a whole sort of them work on this. And we don't need to send them all out, they'll just sort of go back and forth and continue to chip away at that. But there was a yellow Pikmin wall somewhere. Let's see if we can't find that now. Oh yeah, right over there. Okay, so I think that if we jump down, charge up, I can boom defeat you, no problem. And then your friend over here, just as easy, right? That's nice. So they're gonna bring that over. We're gonna send a bunch of yellow Pikmin over here, as many as we can manage. There we go, and that's our full collection of yellow pigments. We do need to, you know, protect them, treat them well, make sure that they are taken care of in that way. But um, overall, so far so good. I do want to get up there and uh, knock that bag over, but I guess there's not really too much more we'll have to do before they, you know, destroy that wall. So I guess, yeah. In the meantime, they got all the pellets sort of collected over this way too. We're doing pretty nice. Okay, electric heat demolish, so as soon as they're done with that, we take all these guys. And then all these Pikmin are working on that, so that's cool. Yeah, and they're still building that bridge. We'll explore through the bridge whenever it's done, but that might take some time. Luckily, it's a safe passage for them. We have 31 Pikmin still here, and a lot of them will definitely stay busy with us. Okay, so this might be a decent spot to call over any idle Pikmin. And since we haven't used it just yet, let me use over here the survey drone. Whoa. So the survey drone, the angling isn't super useful, but we can zoom way, way out, and that makes it a lot easier. Okay, so once this bridge is completed, it looks like there is going to be something up there. Okay. Yeah, some kind of treasure. There's enemies lurking around up this way. There's a whole sort of sequence of things. Another cave that I wouldn't mind getting into. There's just so much. That's where we're sort of starting from. A bag we need to squish with the yellow Pikmin onion. We really, really need that. And then the, this. I think we should make our way to this first. Okay. So all of our idle Pikmin are rushing over, which doesn't seem to be too many. It's just a couple of yellow Pikmin over there. But we're gonna use whatever we have here to fight off those guys. Oh no, what is that thing? Um, New creature discovered. Let's just tackle you if I can. Oh, I missed you, just barely. Uh, there we go, I knocked you out. Oh, you dropped a pellet. We're dropping a lot of pellets. Um, Hey, leave my Pikmin alone. There we go, we shattered you. Let's not go too crazy here just yet because I want to, not any of that, but you. And then we will charge up, tackle you as hard as I can. Can we somehow turn this into a base? I think we can, we almost got you defeated. That's it. Awesome, so a new base unlocked here at number three, Meandering Slope. I think it's a good idea to just sort of transfer everything over while we have the opportunity. Um, and then, the next thing we wanna focus on is pushing this bag over. So any Pikmin trying to traverse in between the two won't have that hard of a time to get over. Just really trying to focus on proper Dandori here, making sure that we can get many things done at once. That flower, not the flower, the, the butterfly. I wanna make sure that they're knocked out. Then also, this guy over here, we need 10 Pikmin for that. You got it. 
there's just so much going on all over the, all over the place, but I guess we'll just get a lot of red picking with this one. It's not too big of a deal, though. So there's 31 idle Pikmin somewhere. I guess we just wanna call them over too. Got it. What's going on over here though, inside of the leaves? Anything? Doesn't seem like it. Is there really anything in this corner too much to focus on as our day is getting farther along? It looks like we do have a few more things in here. So definitely get you. We have a lot of Pikmin chilling out now, so. We can get the most of them. Yeah, okay, that's all of them. If we um, combo up with everybody over here, right? I think. Um, yeah, let's throw a few more Pikmin over here, over there. So we're getting a ton of materials. We're over 200 now, which is definitely the most we've ever had. And then there's, oh, is there another? There's another Dandori battle up there. Oh no. I'm not sure if I'm quite ready for that, but I do see you up there. So at the least we can maybe make a pathway over to it. Oh my goodness. Um, they get all the Pikmin to fight. Get rid of all those little guys. Cool. So I will just get everybody to work on that. And then fight you over here. Just get everybody I can, especially the ice Pikmin, to do their job. Call them over, call them over. Ah! Oh no, they might have gotten one. I'm so sorry. Yes, everybody keep attacking. I think that'll get the job done. Okay, just a little bit more. Nice work. So, 10 more Pikmin over there. Another one to pick this stuff up. We're making some good progress. So will they just see it go right off the ledge? Ochi has arrived. Hi, Ochi. Okay, so back down this way then. Quite a lot of Pikmin just running around. I wanna do that and then definitely pluck some of these red ones. And then that one, yep. So which Pikmin are we missing? I don't really see where they are, but there's just so much to do all over the place. I would like to go up here and just toss two Pikmin up there to dig that up and bring it over. It shouldn't take them too long. And then what's that over there? That's another Leafling. Uh, hi. I don't know if they see me over here, but maybe we can go catch up with them at some point. And then if we hop on top of Ochi, we can bust through all these pots, boom, just like that. And then find we, inside we find two buttons. Okay. And then for this one, we needed 10 Pikmin that squished this bag. So as you can see, we're being really, really productive. We get a new treasure collected there. Um, I need to, there's for one more Pikmin to squish this box and get this yellow onion. This one might be the biggest deal that we can find besides the blue onion that we also found. All right, this is amazing. A yellow onion this time? I'm sure I can count on you to you to carry it back to the base. I think we can. So, um, we need 20 Pikmin, but what's nice about that, right, is that I can just dismount and tell Ochi to go pick it up. Very nice, very nice. So Ochi's gonna work on that one. A new treasure was collected, and I can't really do much when it comes to getting over there, but I don't really know how else would we, you know? I don't see like anything to jump up to or anything. So maybe there's like some other kind of bridge we can work on somewhere else. And speaking of bridges, we fixed that one over there, but we haven't actually explored it yet. So we're doing really good. There's just so much more left to do somehow. <laughs> so I guess we can explore all of that area soon enough. Hmm. How about that up there? Yeah, right over that way. That thing is huge. I think we'd have to get over to that one area anyway. So. We'll let that onion combine, and maybe figure some stuff out with that, I don't know. I was trying to get the butterfly, it didn't really work. Here we go. So we'll have a three colored onion. That's amazing, so it's yellow, it'll com combine with these two. So we went from red onion to a red, blue, yellow onion. The more onions we fuse together, the more types of pigment we can propagate. That's good news for us, it definitely is. Okay, so yeah, we'll call all of this together and we'll try to figure this out. So now that we have this beautiful multicolored onion, I guess I can just send a bunch of yellow Pikmin over to start working on this, which is definitely my highest priority just because we were lower on yellow Pikmin than anything else. So they should be able to turn that into more yellow Pikmin. Oh, we gotta hurry up though, we are starting to run out of time. How many Pikmin did they need? I keep throwing more over. Okay, so far so good. We're gonna rush over this way though, because that one bridge 
isn't yet completed. I think that's the one thing, if I can complete anything else here today, I might as well try to get that figured out. So right over here, we will just toss whatever Pikmin we can. Okay, they won't, because they're too busy. Um, that should be enough, that's really nice. Because to get over to there and deal with both you and all the treasure under that way, and then lower that bridge and get to that pumpkin, which might be another thing that requires 100 Pikmin or something crazy, who knows? It's gonna take a lot of work, but they're working on building this up now, which is cool. I don't think this is all 23 of it, is it? Oh, it might be. It does take a moment, though. But we still haven't even checked out what the bridge will lead to over there. That's like a whole huge section, this whole thing. Um, we'll do that soon enough, but can't really do it much now. But, you know, I'm really happy with the progress we made one way or another. Okay, they almost had that built. There we go, play bridge completed. We're not gonna worry about it though, because we're just about out of time. So instead of all that, make sure that we have all of our Pikmin. I do wanna see, can I call and return Pikmin? We now have a growing populace of yellow Pikmin, which is great. Um, on top of that, we still need a lot more ice Pikmin, but usually the caverns are pretty nice with giving those to us, and they don't really get knocked out very easily. So overall, it feels like a pretty good thing. Continue, yeah, we can, we can just, wait, how do I confirm? And if there's anything else I wanna to do today, it's probably just taking a look at these things, like what progress have we made? Appraisal Frenzy 2, collect 100 treasures. Please allow me to appraise any and all treasures you collect. My assessment of each one will be published in the treasure catalog. So please do bring me any valuables you find. And then friend to all Pikmin, grow the Pikmin population. We still need quite a lot for this one. We don't even have 100. The universe and civilization itself could learn a lot from Pikmin. Increase their numbers by feeding the onion or find wild Pikmin in caves so our relationship with them can prosper. All right, so yeah, a lot of cool things. We're just gonna chill out here until time runs out then. I, mean, I guess I can maybe throw a couple of red Pikmin over. Some of them can be blooming. Nice. All right, we did it. I mean, I'm really happy that we found the two onion upgrades as well as the doctor as part of the rescue corps. So that means there's only one more rescue corps member left to find. So today, while it was a little bit faster, was still very productive. I will say that much. Okay, so with all of our Pikmin safe and sound in that onion, we are heading out of here. I guess back to the home base. So we're not quite 100% done this area, but it feels like this is gonna be a lot longer of a game than Pikmin 3 was. We've made it back home safe and sound, and with a doctor. So if anybody's feeling sick, they got the sniffles, let us know. Expiration results of day seven, we saved Yanni for our 11th rescue, and an extra pup drive there that we need to build up more of. So this is all the stuff we found today, quite a lot of stuff. We have the perforated raft, the satellite shield, interesting, it's like a little coin, daughter of the earth, SS chocolate, cookie of nibbled circles, dusty bed, deceptive snack, and illumination goo. Very cool, and we almost have 7,000 sparklium, which will allow us to scan out to new areas, so lots of good stuff coming up soon for sure. Whoa. Yanni's back, Captain. Seems like we're making progress. Um. Well done, Zebra. So where is he then? We need to discuss the leaf link situation as soon as possible. Um, the thing is, after the forest sleep mode was lifted, he kind of went right back to sleep. I think he'd been examining a plant that only appears at night, so he was pretty sleep deprived. <laughs> Seriously? He was out walking around at night? Here? It's ridiculously dangerous. I suppose I should be grateful that he's still alive. Huh? That's strange. I put a bottle right here. Where did it? Dingo, you didn't drink that liquid that was sitting right there, did you? Did you? Hey, don't shout at me like that. But yeah, I was thirsty and it was right there, so I gave it a try, who cares? Well, that was the medicinal ingredient that Gani was using in his experiments. And you never thought to mention that until now? Uh, why do I suddenly feel very hot? Oh, wow. Are you all right? Maybe you should go lie down too, Dingo. Aww. I suggest we put this meeting on hold for the time being. Oh no. <laughs> so there's some interesting things happening there. You rescued our doctor, Yanni. Let's ask him to examine the leafling when he wakes up, or pilot Bernard might be one after all. So what's gonna go on here in day eight? Will the doctors still be around if they're out during the nighttime like that? I guess we'll have to wait and see. 
well, for right now, it is a happy little day. Oh, and I think I do see Yanni right to our left there. So we'll go catch up with them soon enough. Pardon? You should be caught up on everything now, Yanni. According to Dingo, this castaway may be our, just be our pilot. No. Let me think. The primary symptom is the growing of leaves, yes? If that is the case, then I believe we may be able to cure them. Uh -huh. While stranded, I discovered a bewitching specimen called a lumi luminol. It only appears in the dark of night. When dawn breaks, it releases a sap quite high in decorative enzymes. I believe I can make a medicine out of those secretions that can break down the newly grown leaves. Uh, for real? I mean, cool. But then they'll find out I just left Bernard behind. Oh no, uh oh. Really? He didn't get turned into a leaf monster, you just left him behind? Alas, our friend Dingo here consumed all the sap that I previously collected. <laughs> So New Blood will have to perform some night expeditions to harvest the medicinal ingredients for us. Really? Have we ever gone out during nighttime in Pikmin before? That sounds so cool. Oh, it's nothing to lose sleep over, except in the literal sense. <laughs> Find me later and I'll teach you all you need to know about night expeditions. Excellent. Thanks to Yanni, it sounds like we have a solution to our leafling dilemma. Now everyone, to your stations please. Copy that, Captain. So I guess we might be going on our first night expedition in the future, coming up soon. I've completed another new invention too. There's so much stuff going on with science. Science, the possibilities are endless. It really seems like that's so. So I guess we'll find out what's happening next in the next episode of Pikmin 4. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.